The German Grand Prix was another of Moss's great victories. The Nürburgring was the place where a driver's skill perhaps counted above everything else. But it was a choice of tyres here that made all the difference. Moss deciding to start on the Dunlop Green Spot tyres, which were supposedly for wet weather only. By protecting them on a circuit that was part wet and part dry, and using all his ability, he made up for the car's lack of performance and beat the Ferraris. Meanwhile, the new British V8s were nearly ready. Coventry Climax had appeared in the German Grand Prix in Jack Brabham's Cooper, but he left the road soon after the start, a combination of tyres being probably the reason. The new V8 BRM appeared in practice for the Italian Grand Prix and showed that it was competitive, but it needed further development. The championship for drivers was between Hill and Von Trips. Von Trips leading by 33 points to Hill's 29. Lotus were in with a slim chance of the manufacturer's championship due to the Moss wins at Monaco and at the Nürburgring. And so a deal was fixed between Innes Ireland, Sterling Moss and Colin Chapman to loan Ireland's car to Moss for this race. Ferrari determined to clinch the world championship and entered four cars for Hill, Von Trips, Richie Ginther and the talented young Mexican Ricardo Rodriguez while there was a private entry for Baghetti once again. Rodriguez qualified second on the grid in one of the older 65-degree V6s. At 3 p.m. on race day, the flag fell. Von Tripp, starting from pole position, made a poor start and Ginther led from Clark's Lotus until Hill and Rodriguez passed Clark on the Monza banking. But catastrophe was to strike on lap two. Clark's Lotus and Von Tripp's Ferrari collided while braking for the Parabolica. The Ferrari flew off the track, ejecting its driver and causing him fatal injuries before it continued into the crowd, killing 11 spectators and injuring others, three of whom subsequently died. At the same time, the British driver Jerry Ashmore also had an accident in his Lotus and was seriously injured. Clark was okay in the collision but he suffered the blame for the crash for years before his name was finally cleared. <laughs>